G'day guys, this is episode 2 of Mega Squirt 101 series. Today we've got some very exciting paperwork. Just kidding, I'm going to wire up a Spartan wideband controller to the factory harness and upgrade to a wideband O2 sensor. I'm going to make it possible to run with the factory ECU and also swap over to the Mega Squirt. Let's get started. Alrighty, so on the car the sensor is located inside the exhaust system just down here and that reads air to fuel ratios And that's the pigtail that it connects to on the other end. It's a better view of it going into the exhaust system there. Now, why are we even upgrading? We've already got an O2 sensor in the system. This is what's known as a narrowband sensor. And like the name suggests, it's able to read a very specific air to fuel ratio, whereas this wideband is designed to read air to fuel ratios pretty much from the whole range that the engine will run in. This is kind of critical when you're using an aftermarket ECU to tune and get the most out of your AFR. It does have an impact on power and both fuel economy. A wideband sensor is a little bit different in how it reads, so it does need a wideband controller. I'm using this Spartan O2 controller here. Alright, let's get to hacking up the wiring. Just going to mark up an extra foot or so to cut. I'm going to wire this up in such a way that it goes into the factory harness and also that I'll be able to run it with my stock ECU and then later change it out to the Mega Squirt and still have it running. Gonna strip a bit of the wires. I need you by my side till the end of night. Okay. Make sure you put the little blue grommets on first and then the connector end. Just crimp that down. Of course I forgot to put the blue plastic bit on this time, so having to struggle my way over it, so don't forget to do yours. I'm going to take an extra bit of green wire to hook up the pigtail. The reason why I want to do this is so I can have a couple of different wires from the 
pigtail to the wideband wiring so I can switch out between the simulated narrowband output which is the brown wire to the green wire which is the output for the wideband sensor. And you can see I've put the green wire there in the bottom left corner of the connector. Attaching a bullet connector female end onto that green wire. And then on the brown wire and the green wire on the wideband controller, I'm going to hook two male bullet ends I'm gonna connect an extra male bullet connector onto the green wire on the wideband controller side in prep for switching over to the O2 sensor Look at that masterpiece. Alright, so it looks like it was made by some guy in his garage. Well, guess what? It was. Let's install the O2 sensor and then the wideband controller. Looking a bit sketchy. Let's test it out. Yeah, I'm going to take that up. I don't feel safe driving around with that. And there you have it. Catch you in the next one.